All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Uh, today we have a sensitive topic, and I hope you guys you will enjoy it with me. Now I'm looking at this beautiful bird. As you see with me, and actually he look really amazing. I wonder if Allah he look better than the bird, specifically this one. I mean, what we know that he have a shin and he have a foot. He have two arms in the right side, which is will make him not to walk with good balance. And I wonder if he have one shin or two legs, both of them, they are in the right side too, and that will be very funny. And he have a hand, he have fingers, he have two eyes. He have a face, he have hair. I'm not sure what I can say, but today it's not really about the look. Today it's about Allah is all hearing, all knowing. You see, the Muslims believe that their God is all hearing, all knowing. That is not a beautiful bird. Why not? No, actually, it's very amazing. You know, I, this is this is one of the fingerprints of God. Yes, you see, this is the beauty of the creation of God. Look how amazing it is. There's no artist in the world can do that. Uh, <clears throat> when the Muslims speak to us about His God, and all what He have is, you know, Allah is Almighty. Allah is the Creator. Uh, Allah is whatever, you know, but when you ask them a very simple question about their God, they have no idea what we are talking about and what they are talking about. When I say I have God and I invite people to worship this God and I do not know yet what his name mean. I mean, can we find when Muslim knows what Allah mean? No. Who is Allah? Hmm, they don't know. Oh, but they know that they have a guy, his name is Muhammad. Another guy came to him, squeezed him in the cave three times to activate him. And then he told him, read. He did not even say to him, I am an angel. He did not say anything. After that, Muhammad, he went to his wife. And he was snoring, going crazy. And she said to her, cover me, cover me. She covered him by ten blanket. Still, Muhammad is sweating like crazy. Then she took him from his hand as if he is a kid. And then she took him to her cousin. Supposedly the cousin is Warqa ibn Nufal, but the fact he is not really a cousin. He is the real father of Muhammad. When he arrived to Warqa ibn Nufal, Warqa ibn Nufal told him, tell me your story. Muhammad, he told him what happened. He was sitting in the cave, a guy come to him, and he started squeezing him. By the way, those things happen to us in the Middle East always. You can be sitting somewhere, and then suddenly, suddenly, somebody come to you and squeeze you. And the funny, in the story, Muhammad, he did not even ask the guy to stop squeezing him. I mean, a guy you, you do not know, in the middle of nowhere, and he is squeezing you. Don't you say to him, stop touching me? It looked, look, I mean, somehow Muhammad is used to be squeezed, and he did not mind that issue. You know, I mean, the first thing you should be worried about being, being squeezed by a man you do not know. But Muhammad never asked the guy why you are even squeezing me. What do you, who are you? If we go and read the story according to the Muslims. And by the way, we are not changing the topic. The topic is Allah all knowing, all hearing. And I will tell you why this topic is important to prove that Allah is not all knowing and he is not all hearing. <clears throat> Let us see. We will go to the story where Muhammad mentioned that the angel he come to him. Where is the story? Hmm. 
Here we go. The Revelation. You see, Sahih al-Bukhari, the book of Revelation. This is how Muhammad received his revelation. I like it. The only problem I am suffering from, I never been squeezed, which means I did not get any revelation yet. How lucky, unlucky I am. Here we will find the story. It says, the mother of the faithful, you know, isn't it weird that if somebody, he is a prophet, he married a woman, she became the mother of the faithful. I will tell you what is behind this story. Muhammad, he forbid any of his men to marry after him any of his wives. You see how much this man is jealous? If you ask the Muslims, why you, like, uh, if a woman, her husband, he die, is she allowed to marry in Islam? They say yes, because that is better for her. She might do, uh, get tempted, do temptation, you know, have sex without marriage. That's bad. So it's better for her to get married. Okay. Only in the case of Muhammad, nobody can touch his wives after his death. Because this man, he owned them. Imagine, Aisha, when Muhammad, he died, she was 18 years old. She's just in her, like, time to go and get married. <clears throat> so this is what is behind when you see the mother of the believers he made them believe that they are your mothers so if you have sex with my wives it's like you're having sex with your mother you idiot hmm. we continue so then muhammad he went uh, to his uh, to the cave he is called the, the cave of hara the angel came to him and asked him to read. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The angel came to him. How we know that this is an angel? If you read what is coming in the story, you will see how funny the story is. Nowhere it says this guy is an angel. And I will show you. The angel came to him and he said to him, read. Okay, if we ask the Muslims, do Muhammad know how to read? They will say no. Okay. Why the angel saying to Muhammad, read? Who is the one who told the angels to say that to Muhammad? The Muslim, they will say Allah, because this is Quran. This is not the words of the angel, by the way. Okay. Allah is all knowing. Allah is all hearing. If Muhammad do not know how to read, why in the world Allah saying to him, read? Hmm? Do we have any Muslim on town? <clears throat> any Muslim can tell us? You change the moment you accept Islam. Will look like your, your prophet himself never changed. Yeah, all right. You know, forget about being changed now. Let us see how 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 your brain is changed. Can you tell us why Allah told Muhammad read, but yet Muhammad do not know how to read? Any Muslim can tell us. You see, guys, the second I accept Islam, my I changed right away. Yeah, I became more womanizer, and I felt like I want to have a wife. She is six years old, uh, and I start hating my family and my parents because they are not Muslims. Yeah, this is not the question, not the topic. Why Allah saying to Muhammad, read, if Muhammad cannot read? Who is the Muslim want to give us an answer? You see, the second you ask questions about Islam, why you hate Islam? Islam hate us, my friend. Islam says in chapter 5, verse 14, that Allah will spread hate, spread hate and enmity between the Christians. And you are telling us why you hate Islam? Tell your God why he hate us. Your God, the God of hate. We go back to the topic. You see, they try to change the topic. The second you start asking questions about Islam, they accuse you of hate. 
you are a Islamophobic you are disgusting you are racist Islam is a what's a racist I am an Arab myself anyone can tell us what kind of God he asked a prophet who do not know how to read to read anyone there's one of two options either Allah he do not know that Muhammad do not know how to read or Allah he know that Muhammad he don't know how to read which one we choose Muslims I don't know somehow I feel like Allah he broke his tooth today and he Muslim like this is why he don't want to open his mouth and talk to me and he don't want to answer any Muslim can tell us do Allah know or he do not know that Muhammad knows how to read not even one Muslim do you see how weak this cult is we just ask a very simple question very simple question all the Muslims are here look how many of them not even one can tell us if Allah knows who is the answer can you tell me if Allah know that Muhammad he know how to read or not why it is hard to answer a simple question this is the beginning of Islam nothing started yet Muhammad is in the cave huh No answer. Be my witness. Who is the Muslim would like to call me and tell me the answer? You see, I'm not asking you about the morality of Muhammad. I'm not asking you about him being a killer, rapist, etc. No. Very simple question. Allah told him read. Muhammad do not know how to read. Do Allah knows that Muhammad know how to read or he do not know? You flood our 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 like the media and the TV in the Middle East and the books. Allah is all knowing. What is all knowing? Obviously, Allah do not know that Muhammad do not know how to read. Read the conversation and you will notice that. Not only that, Allah do not know and Allah is deaf, and he is slow. Read carefully. The angel came to him and asked him to read. By the way, don't forget, guys, if you did not get your copy from my new books, the new release of my books, which is Six and Allah, uh, go and get your copy. This is one of you actually sent me those pictures. He got my books, and I hope you guys you will enjoy it. It's full of information, and you would love it, especially if you are a Muslim. Get your copy. Six and Allah. Search in Amazon, you will find all amazon.com or amazon europe etc you will find the list of my books there including german french dutch and switch swedish la francais yeah the title is not important what is important is what is inside oh boy you will not believe it what is inside we go back to the topic so the angel came to him and he asked him to read the prophet replied <laughs> I did not know how to read. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. I mean, until now, the conversation is fine and it's nice. Until now, there's nothing wrong. But a guy said to you, read. You say, I do not know how to read. No problem. But what is next is horrible. The prophet added that the angel cut me forcefully and pressed me so hard that I could not hear it, bear it no more. Uh, I cannot breathe. Then he released me. What? What's happening here? The prophet is being sexually harassed. What is that? Uh, squeeze me. You know? What is happening? The guy he told you he cannot read. He just said already, I do not know how to read. What's wrong with you? Why you are squeezing the poor Muhammad? 
He is an Arab like me. Leave Muhammad alone. The angel cut him and he pressed him forcefully so hard to the point Muhammad cannot bear it no more and he cannot breathe. But the prophet just told him, I do not know how to read. What's wrong with this angel? And then the angel said to him again. After he released him, he said to him, Read. What? What a stubborn angel. Read. But the prophet just told him, I do not know how to read. And then, after the angel said to him again, read, Muhammad, he replied, because obviously this angel or Allah, he is so slow. <laughs> he said, <laughs> what's wrong with you? I do not know how to read. Hello? You are wasting your time. Thereupon, he, which means the angel, caught me again and pressed me a second time till I could not bear it no more. Then he released me and again asked me to read. Like, what the heck? What's going on here? I mean, I saw a lot of a drama movies, but this is really horrible. Uh, thank you, my friend, Evox. Thank you for the, the kind words and donation. Hey, guys, sometimes I don't look at the screen. Not all the time I look. All right? I want to see Muslim making donation. Why you don't get Muslim making donation? What's wrong? Don't you like what I'm doing, Muslims? I'm 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 saving you. Trust me, I'm saving you. <laughs> you Muslims are the first. You should you should appreciate it. So the angel, after squeezing the prophet the first time, the second time, and he squeezed so harsh and so hard, and the prophet he said to him, "I cannot read." Then he released me. Then he pressed me. Then he released me. Then he pressed me. And then the angel finally he started saying something additional to the word read. He said to him, Read in the name of your Lord. Uh, I saw that in the movie, the, the Ring of the Wing, the what what called? The Lord of the Ring. What the ring of the wing? I mean, those Arab people like me, they come with names never exist. The ring of the wing. Okay. Ring in the name of your Lord. All of this to say to him, so why you did not say that from the beginning? You squeezed the guy three times, and now finally you spoke, repeating. I mean, why if Islam is started with number three? Do you notice the Muslim they say to you that we Muslims against the Trinity? Are you? How you are against the Trinity, but yet everything in Islam is even the activation of your prophet happened three times. Do we have any Muslim? Look what happened. Not even a Muslim. Hmm. I think the Muslims are scared to call me because they broke their teeth, the front one. The same as the Prophet. He lost all of them in the front. You remember when the guy, he hit the Prophet with the rock? And the Prophet, he lost all his teeth? Guys, where is the where is the Christian by choice? I don't see him no more. Is he okay? Anyone see him? Where he goes? I didn't see him for a while. Uh, somebody contact him and let me know if he is fine. Anyway. <clears throat> Allah, Allah, he keep asking Muhammad to read. All right, so he's working hard. That's good. 
Well, as long as long the angel Jibreel will not come and squeeze him to read, I mean, that will be horrible. So Allah, he keeps squeezing the prophet because the angel here is doing the will of Allah, remember, my friend, right? Okay, we have a caller. Hold on. Hello. Hello. Yes, my friend. Ah, hi, Christian Prince. Um, I'm fine. I'm a Christian, and I was reading the Quran a uh, time ago, and I wanted to ask you something. Okay. You can hear me? Sure, sure. I hear you. Go ahead. Yes, because <laughs> uh, the the title of your um, YouTube is if Allah is all knowing, and there are something that came in my mind. The first, uh, the the first thing is that Allah sends uh, shooting star to kill demons, and as example. I would ask if Allah is all knowing, how can we know month before um, that Allah will shoot this demon that he will going to do it? You understand what I mean? Does mm -hmm. it mean that humans are higher than Allah? For example, the rain, Allah sends rain. So does do we know better than him when he when he will do it? Or how does this work? You remind me, you know, I used to watch the news in Saudi Arabia. And you know this is something new for them. They have the weather news, but because in Saudi Arabia you cannot say tomorrow we will have rain. So what they do? Inshallah, Inshallah, tomorrow we will have a wind between twenty to thirty mile an hour. Inshallah, and Inshallah we might have some rain. Inshallah, Inshallah tomorrow is going. The sun is going to rise at five to fifteen uh, a.m. in the morning. So you can pray before that. Inshallah. It, they have to add after anything inshallah otherwise the guy can get killed you know oh. because if you don't say inshallah that's mean you claim that you know and the second you claim that you know they will kill you you know uh, actually somebody sent me uh, today uh, uh, a fashion show in Saudi Arabia I don't know if any of you guys saw the video uh, uh, the, the, the Saudi they have a fashion show but without women so what they do they are using drone you know you know the the, the flying drone uh, to hang up on the clothes in it and it walk in the stage <laughs> <laughs> so this is a this is a crazy society you see the islam make you go back to the stone time uh and you cannot use your brain you cannot even question like you know what you are saying to me right now maybe it's simple but if you say that in saudi arabia you are dead right <laughs> And in a society like this, where nobody dares to ask questions, you can ask questions as long as they are silly, as long as they are stupid. Like when I was in the in the Islamic University, uh, uh, I put my hand that the teacher he learned about me, so he said, "Not you." No, 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 no. Don't ask me. No, no, no. But anyone else, he asked a silly question, like uh, um, you know, somebody want to ask if he, it's okay to shave under arm, you know, after uh, in Ramadan, you know. Suddenly, that the doctor became so excited, and he want to answer that. Ask any silly question. The Quran says in chapter five, verse one o one, "Ask not questions." Verse one o two, it says, "Why?" Because former generations they asked the same questions, and they left their faith. So Islam knows its weakness that you ask questions, you lose your faith. Uh, actually, the Quran even state. That if somebody starts saying anything, questioning the Quran, questioning Islam, what do you do? What is the solution according to the Quran? If there is any Muslim here can tell us, please feel free. I know you will not tell us because you are not proud about this book. The Quran uh, say clearly that if anyone, he starts speaking about Islam, questioning Islam, questioning the Quran, then, you know, uh, leave them. Until they change the topic, chapter four, verse one hundred one, one one forty. Read it, people. Mm -hmm. After this is the Quran. This is not my words, and this is not my translation. Already has he sent to you the word, uh, uh, word in in the book, which means the Quran. That when you hear a signs of Allah, healed defense in like you know they are making fun of it they are questioning they are not making fun only they are questioning how stupid it is you are not to sit with them unless they turn to a different topic do you see it 
Yes, I understand. And why he said that to them? Because he is afraid if they sit with those people, and those people they are asking serious questions about the stupid Islam, they will leave Islam. So what is the solution if they start talking about asking questions about Islam? And here you see it says they disbelieve and mock. Okay, well, I am mocking now by asking questions. This is what Islam is about. I did not say anything wrong. I did not call names. I am just asking questions. Why this is mocking in Islam? Because simply any questioning, questioning to the faith is mocking in Islam. You are not allowed to question. You are just allowed to ask question, not to question. There's a huge difference. You see, I can ask you a question about how to pray. I can ask you a question uh, how the Prophet received the Quran. I can ask you a question how the Quran is collected. Yeah, those are questions they are fine. But if you question the prophethood of Muhammad, if you question the Quran sources, if you question the the validity of the of, of, of Islam, that is the second you are mocking, and Muslims are not allowed to sit with us. Yes, I understand this because if they have no answer, so what should they do? So yeah, of course they try to avoid that. Right. Uh, but but this is not you know it's not it's not the fault of Muslim. This is Muhammad plan. Is he is evil plan? He don't want the Muslim to sit with us and listen to us serious questions, which will make him leave Islam. You know, it is it is an evil plan from this man. It's not really it's not something to be to laugh at. This man he know what he's doing, and now there is many Muslims. The second you start talking about Islam, the the same second they flee because they are obeying Muhammad but in the same time they try to flee around but these days things is different you see um, there is internet there is before they can shut you up I mean who dare to speak about Islam in Islamic countries right now if I go to, to Google I will find that people from Saudi Arabia actually number two country who listen to me from the whole world is Indonesia and all of us we know Indonesia the majority are Muslims the first country is United States the second country is Indonesia the third country is United Kingdom so Muslims are listening and learning everywhere and all days is over they cannot shut us up no more do you have any question for me my friend no I thank you for the answer I, I was just wondering by re when I read that yeah. So, but really, CP, thank you for the question, uh, for for the answer. So, not, uh, if you want me to give you a question, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, so my friend. Take care. Some again, I will, I will uh, call you. Again. All right, take care. But right, thank you. Bye bye. All right. Uh, you see, when somebody is afraid, he will find any excuse not to answer. So, Muhammad always he have a solution. If you go to chapter 5 in the Quran, you will see Muhammad saying exactly the same thing. Ask not questions. Why ask not questions? Because if you ask questions, will happen to you what happened to other generations. What happened to other generations? They lost their faith. So the only way to stay a Muslim is not to ask questions. Now we go back to the Hadith. Let us go here. All right. So the angel said to the prophet, read. And until now, we could not find one Muslim answer this simple question because simply they don't know. I mean, it's very confusing. You see, if Allah is God, just to make it simple, if Allah is God and he is all-knowing, which means he knew that Muhammad cannot read. Okay, wonderful. And Allah, because he knew, he is still saying to Muhammad, read. So what the purpose of saying that to a man he will not read anyway? Are we following, guys? What is the, what is the point? There is one of two answers. Either Allah will say to Muhammad read and then Allah by saying read he will make a miracle make Muhammad able to read Right 
it's like Jesus saying to the guy who cannot walk walk right and then the guy he said to him I cannot walk and then Jesus said to him walk again and the guy he said again I cannot walk and then Jesus said to him walk again and the guy he said I cannot walk okay now if Jesus cannot make the guy walk anyway why he's asking him to walk to make it simple for you all right my friend don't forget to read my books not to put them in the shelf only like the Muslims they do like Shabir Ali Shabir Ali he buy books he put them in the shelf like my book <laughs> any Muslim can tell me what's happening here you see when Jesus said to the man who cannot walk walk the man he carry his chair he carry his bed and he run not only walk when Jesus said to the guy who cannot see, see, the guy he saw. When Jesus spoke to the dead man, he says to him, rise from death, he rise, he rose. Okay, Allah is saying to Muhammad three times, read. Why he could not make Muhammad able to read? What was the problem? Somebody saying what about Muhammad he can read you see I cannot go by my own statement for me I believe Muhammad was able to read from the beginning But as long as what the Muslims believe we have to go by their belief We have to question the belief my friend not my belief. You know what I mean? You got my point if you ask me do Muhammad know how to write how to read I believe he used to know how to write how to read And the Muslims they got the wrong they are disconnected. However This is what they believe we have to go with it So who is the Muslim one telling me Allah is saying to Muhammad a three time read and still Muhammad cannot read? I mean, is it really hard to make Muhammad read? How slow he is. The Muslim they say to us that the Prophet was able to speak to the donkey. Okay, the donkey now is speaking Arabic. So Allah able to speak to teach the, the donkey Arabic. Can't Allah teach Muhammad how to write, how to read? And by the way, the story of the donkey is my favorite. I mean, the donkey, the prophet, he asked his donkey the first question ever. He speak to an animal. He said to him, do you like females? <clears throat> what? Oh, 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 no. I mean, a donkey and he's a gay? First time ever a prophet of God in Islam speaking to his animal. Actually, before, the supposedly we have uh, Suleiman. He spoke to the ant. Uh, but Muhammad first time is speaking to the donkey and he asked him about sex. I mean, can't you ask him about what he like to eat? <laughs> how are you doing, brother? You know, how, what's up? Right away is about sex. <laughs> hey, Yafur, his donkey, he called him Yafur. Hey, Yafur, do you like females? The donkey like what? What the heck? He said, oh, 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 no, I don't like females. This donkey is coming from San Francisco. So Allah, he taught Muhammad, read, 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 read. The donkey, he can speak Arabic, yet Muhammad is still unable to read after Allah saying to him that three times. Any Muslim? Hater of Islam, none of the Muslims attack Christianity. My friend, what this guy is talking about? Their prophet, he said in the Quran, chapter 9, verse 29, to go and kill us and rape us, and yet we don't attack Christianity. You know what talking about? When a Muslim, he pray five times a day, he curse the Christians. He say, Allah, Allah, don't make me the same as the Christians and the, the lost Christians and the cursed Jews. Do you see how they lie? Five times a day, the first thing in the morning, before even he clean, clean his bum, right away he say, Allah, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, 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 Don't make us the same as the lost Christians and the Jews, the cursed Jews, I mean. And yet you say to us, you don't attack the Christians? Five times a day you insult us. Five. What a liar. What a liar. Now, who is the Muslim want to give us an answer? Why Allah could not make Muhammad able to read? 
Allah is all knowing, all hearing. Muhammad said to Allah three times, I cannot read. Why Allah cannot hear him? And why Allah cannot understand? And why Allah cannot know that Muhammad cannot read anyway? Because when you insist to Muhammad to read and Muhammad do not know how to read, it's mean you have a problem, you have mental issue. It's not the fault of Muhammad. Muhammad is just saying to him, I do not know how to read, man. Then this God, he insists and he continues saying, read in the name of your Lord. Okay, did Muhammad read after that? Muslims, after Allah, he said to Muhammad, read in the name of your Lord. Did Muhammad learn how to read? So what's the point of this drama? Who is a Muslim want to give us a call? We have 250 people you know, here, and 50 of them maybe are Muslims, maybe 60, maybe 70. I don't know. Something wrong here in the story. Either Allah is slow, or the angel is stupid, or your prophet is telling us a lie. Choose one. Yeah, actually, Shake uh, Shakespeare. By the way, guys, this guy, his name Shakespeare. Let you tell you know. Do you know Al Qazafi? He was having. It's in YouTube. He was having a big meeting in Africa. You know, the Qazafi. He bought a title, the King of Africa, <laughs> the King of Kings in Africa. <laughs> See what money does. Anyway, so this guy, he have a. He he used to go to Africa and bring all like whatever he like invite five leaders, five president or king. And he give them checks like five million dollars, seven million dollars. You know, just come, come and pay respect. In the speech, on one of the speeches, Al Qazafi, he said, "All of you, you should know that Shakespeare is an Arab, and his real name is Sheikh Isbur. <laughs> Sheikh Isbur." <laughs> Sheikh Isbur, huh? All right. Oh boy. True story. I'm so glad that the one who said that is is, is Al Qazafi, not, not Zakir Naik, because with Zakir Naik is going to be hilarious. Brother Fitter, there is a lot of famous names, and they are, in fact, they are Muslims and they are Arab. Other example, all of us, we heard about the guy, his name is Thikbir. The truth is that Shakespeare like is a Muslim and he is a sheikh and his name is Beer. Thank you very much. <laughs> Shakespeare. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna convert to Islam, man. I mean I cannot resist this intelligence. This is so much. Too much. Do we have any Muslim wanna answer? I mean, we are not saying anything. We are just like having a chat here. I'm not debating anyone. Oh, am I? Look how funny this religion cannot stand a simple question. We are not debating. We are just asking a very small, tiny question. What you will do with the heavy questions? And instead of complaining, calling us names, what about you grab your Skype and call me? What do you think? Hmm? Do you remember, guys, the the the, the doctor? Uh, what his name? Doctor Rohi. When we asked him first time, he came to debate me. What make you like? What is the reason for you to be a Muslim? I mean, what is the proof Islam is from God? What he said, you remember? We as a Muslims, when we woke up in the morning. We feel the light of Allah. What, what? What light of Allah? What this guy is talking about? Is that explaining why in the Middle East we don't have electricity? We feel the light of Allah. Our face will be glowing. Are you sure? Should I show you some pictures in the internet? <laughs> Look at the face of Zakir Naik and see how much glowing it is. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I, you want to see my face? You know? 
because all of us we are in the Middle East we have a glowing face I'm telling you unbelievable when I walk in the street guys people they wear they, they don't wear sunglasses when they look at me they put welding glasses because we glow yeah <clears throat> we go back to the topic anyone knows why Muhammad been squeezed three time and Allah do not get it that he do not know how to read anyone have an idea how in the world you Muslim says Allah is all-knowing, all-hearing, but yet he cannot know? Previous to the question that Muhammad do not know how to write, how to read. What the point of asking a question like this? Is that an order to fill a fill? Or Muhammad still cannot read? Anyone? Great to be with you and CP or Kiki. What who's who's with me? Ah, Kiki is saying that you breathe with me. <laughs> no, I'm alone. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim here? Why today not even one Muslim on a call? What's happening? You think I'm going to squeeze you the same as Muhammad been squeezed in the beginning of Islam? Because do you think that the beginning of any prophet to be a prophet need to be squeezed? Hmm. Hmm. You still haven't found a wife, my friend. How I'm going to have find a wife if I could not get the answer for this question first? <laughs> you think I can start? I can look even for a while. I have to find an answer for this first. This dilemma, you know, we are. This this thing is destroying our countries in the Middle East, my friend. What getting married? Don't you see what's happening in the Middle East? Go and see. Iraq is burned. Syria is burned. Jordan tomorrow. Just wait. Tons of thousands in the street. Morocco is going to shish kebab. Algeria is the same. More than a million and a half get killed in the last twenty the last ten years. All of this because of this garbage. All of the, all of what you see, all the, the the disasters in the Middle East because of this garbage. This is the most dangerous garbage ever. My friends, Saudi are not opening casino. The Saudi themselves, they are the casino. <laughs> the casino opening casino. Those people are Ramadan. You, you go to Saudi Arabia right now. Nobody there. The country is empty. Only the poor who don't have money they stay in Saudi Arabia. Anyone who has little saving, he go. They go to Thailand, you know. Man, they go to Thailand and they worship Allah there. They worship Allah very much. I remember once in, uh, you know, I was like, uh, it's like, you know, an island in, in the Philippines. And there was, there is a Saudi guys and they are sitting at the table and you can tell they have with them, with them hookers. You know, I mean, Strange women wearing very short clothes, and you know, you can tell. The Saudi guy he asked the waitress if she have halal food, but the table is full of whiskey. <laughs> Look how conservative they are. Look how conservative. He will not eat normal food. He will eat only halal. He have whiskey and beer in the table, and he have hookers on the table. And he is requesting halal food. I mean, that's decent Islamic way of life. And it is Ramadan. I mean, the blessing is three times double. We go back to the topic. Any Muslim will give us an answer for this, the, the, this, this, the problem now? Hmm? I'm serious, guys. If you want to go vacation anywhere, anywhere, have islands, etc., don't go in Ramadan because the Muslims they run from their countries, you know. And we are talking about not, you know, there is Muslims who live in Europe, uh, they used to see women, etc. But those who are coming from Saudi Arabia and etc., they go and they do crazy stuff. I remember once a Saudi guy, he was leaving, it's not even, it's not even like a, you know, a, a bad place, but they have like a it's like a complex they have normal restaurant they have a bar so the saudi was in the bar 
and he was leaving the the complex the complex have like do gates doors glass doors but he is not getting from the door he is getting through the glass he want to get through <laughs> he walk and he hit the glass and he fell down and he start cursing why you close the door on me and the security they came to him they said sir there's no door here you have to go from that side he stand up again and he walk through the the, the glass he want to go through but those glasses are very thick like wall you know you can't, you can't even break it you want to get out why you close the door on me and I you know I spoke to him in Arabic I said listen there's no door here hey Abdul there's no door there's no door the door is there he looked at me and he said are you speaking in Arabic he said yeah I'm speaking in Arabic and then he said to me something not nice at all <laughs> Unbelievable. I was saying to him, read. I did not squeeze him. Still, he did not get it. I told him, read. There's no door here. <laughs> and yeah, Abdul. Uh, Saud, you want to call me Saud? You are a kid, Saud. You are talking about a coward, you coward. Hmm? Did you find the did you find the pillars? What a kid. Do we have any brave Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Why Allah saying to Muhammad read and Muhammad do not know how to read? Yeah, I cut your call. You are a coward. You want to mention something to me in the Bible and you call it error. Why you don't say that whoever believe in this error is stupid? Say it. All right, guys? Why you don't want to say that? Say the same question for me. I will say whoever believe in such a thing is going to be stupid. No problem. Why you don't say it? Because you're afraid. I will show you what your prophet said. And then what will make your prophet stupid and that will make you get busted. Coward. Any Abdul? Because I wanna I wanna corner you, you see. I'm not talking to you just to chat. I'm here to spank. Why you don't want to say it? Isn't it an error? Isn't it you believe in error? It is. Isn't it funny and stupid? Why you don't say it's stupid? Say, coward. Like your prophet. He used to hide between, you know. Do you know, guys, that Muhammad, he said, he never received Quran in any clothes except the clothes of his wife, Aisha. Do you know that Muhammad, he ordered his men to put eyeliner because he want them to grow their eyelashes. <laughs> May Allah grow your eyelashes. Have you ever heard of a prophet like this? <laughs> the makeup advisor. <laughs> oh boy. So do we have any brave Muslim want to answer us? Why Allah is asking Muhammad a three time to read and yet Muhammad did not, Allah sorry, did not get it. Who is the one here is slow? Anyone? Who is the slow in this story? Is it Allah? Is it Muhammad? Is it the angel? Something wrong. Who want to give us the answer? Hmm? Anyone? Uh, I can let you call me, uh, Saud, but you have to promise me to be a man. If you make a claim, make a claim. If you say this is wrong, we'll say it's wrong, stupid, crazy, and the one who believe in it is an idiot. Just all. That's all what I'm asking for. <laughs> but you don't want to do that because you're scared. Coward. Any Abdul? What angel? I know obviously the whole story is a joke. The whole story is a joke. Muhammad here, as a fake prophet, is trying to copy some of the story of Prophet Isaac. Sorry, the uh, Prophet uh, Israel, <laughs> not Isaac. Muhammad here is a thief, and he thought this is how prophets can be prophets 
he have to struggle with God. This is not about squeezing. You see, the Muslims, they make fun of the Old Testament. Anyone remember? Anyone remember what I'm talking about? Muhammad the thief is trying to copy a story from the Old Testament, but because he's a thief, his story became silly and stupid. He thought if he mentioned such a thing, that will make people believe that he is a prophet. Hmm? Any Muslim? Yeah, he is trying to play Jacob. But his story did not fit the profile. Who is a Muslim want to call us? Come on. May they, may they. We need a Muslim. May they, may they. Let us continue. The Muslim will not answer. And then Allah is all knowing. So, what Allah He said, just to show you that Allah is all knowing, remember with me. We notice that Allah do not know that Muhammad do not know how to write, how to read. And then Allah, He said the following, and this is a proof that He is all knowing. Allah created you from the clot. What the heck? Human being is created from the cloth? Hmm? Is that the talk of Allah, the all-knowing? Any Abdul? Allah, the all-knowing, Saying that you are created from the cloth, how this happen? How this happen, my friend? There is something wrong here. Are we really created from the cloth? Do you know what the cloth mean? Cloth is a dead blood. How Allah, the all knowing, all hearing, who can hear nothing, he know nothing. He says such a stupid mistake. Any Muslim? <laughs> this is very deep. <laughs> this is extremely deep. Read in the name of your Lord who created you from the cloth. Let us go right now to Google and search what is a stage of us when we are created is the cloth. Any Muslim can find me where we are? Hmm? Any Muslim? Are we created from the cloth? Is that a speech of the God, the all-knowing? Who is the Muslim with his knowledge when it proved to us that we are created from the cloth? Allah is all knowing. Da -da -da -da. I mean, we did not question Allah anything yet. And and the funny, the funny, Muhammad he quote the Quran for us. 96 1, 96 2, 96 3. And the funny, the funny, the Muslim they say to us that the Quran never been changed. But it's funny, it's funny that this verses today is the chapter 96, which means what is the first chapter in the Quran became at the end of the Quran. But remember, the Quran never been changed. But they are saying to us here that today you can find those verses in chapter 96. And this is the first words Muhammad he received from his God. Do we have any Muslim here? I don't know. I believe Islam is an astonishing religion as long as you don't use your brain. The second you start using your brain, you will be astonished of the stupidity.
who is the Muslim want to give us the answer for this madness here? Hmm? Nobody? Okay. We continue. I mean, you answer, you don't answer, who care? We know that you have no answer and you are ashamed of it. Then Muhammad, after he this happened to him, Muhammad, he went to Khadija. Khadija is his first wife who have many husbands before him and a lot of kids. But she is rich. By the way, if any of you, she is in the age of Khadija and she have a big house, big account in the bank. You know, she's a businesswoman. She have a yacht or it. And the qualification is very simple. You need to have no teeth. You sleep very early so I can open my broadcast. And you have a very bad hearing. So you will not hear my me speaking and you have money then we are in business so let us say we are looking for Khadija if there is any Khadija in town please call me the Prophet of Islam the decent man he married a woman a lot older than him for the sake of her money the same man Muhammad just to show you that Muhammad is a hypocrite man because somebody might say okay maybe he love her so what if she's older it might happen yeah it might happen this is true sometime love happen but she's a lot older and this is against the Arabic tradition however if you go and you read this hadith here you will see that Muhammad don't like women who they are even widows even if they are young let me show you uh... Okay, has a little title and your name on the side of the cover. Yeah, because the somebody is asking me about the book, volume number one and volume number two. In the side of the book, the back, uh, the name of the book and the author is not there because the book is less than 139 pages. The first book. This is why they can't print the name there. All right, so there is a reason for that. If we go here, but that will not affect because it's, you know, the title in the front and uh, the name of Christian Prince in the front anyway in both books. If we go here, we will find Muhammad advising a man. And he is advising him what kind of advice? Read carefully with me. Jabir reporting that he was married to a woman. Whereupon Allah Messenger said to me, Have you married? I said to him, Yes. Muhammad, he said, Is she a virgin or she is previously married, like widow or divorce? I said, Previously married. Whereupon he said, Where had you been? Why you don't go and get a little girl so she can amuse you, a virgin man? Why you are doing that? Okay, hold on, hold on. Translation here is not correct at all. Let me look for different translation. You see, the Muslim they play games in their translation. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Look at this. You see the translation change in the same story. Amazing how they lie when they translate. Abdullah died and he left behind me. This guy is speaking about his brother, nine or seven daughters. So this guy, he have a bunch of girls who they are orphan. They are the daughters of his brother. I married a woman who had been previously married. Allah messenger said to me, Jabber, Jabber is the name of the guy. Have you married? I said, yes. He again said, a virgin or a woman previously married? I said, Messenger of Allah, which one, with one who was previously married. Whereupon the Prophet said, why you don't marry a young girl? So she could sport, you could sport with her and she could sport with you. <laughs> Or you could amuse her, amuse with her, and she could amuse with you. 
this is a prophet of God <laughs> oh boy so how the prophet he did marry Khadija if he like young virgins children like Aisha you see the guy he did marry the same as Muhammad did marry actually not the same he have a woman she's a woman not the kid yet Muhammad is not in agreement with him and he is tempting him to get rid of his wife and go and find a little tiny child to marry from any Muslim can explain that to us and here you understand that Muhammad he don't like older women is that correct guys when I advise you that you should marry a young woman and she is not even a woman she is a child you see here Jaria a child why you don't marry eh, a little tiny child huh so you can play with her come on you know because it's a child whatever you give them they will be happy like you give them candies they go they go so crazy a woman whatever you do she is not satisfied a child she have no idea what's happening you get the point of the of the child thing and this is telling you the mentality of this guy he don't like older women so why he married Khadija who is a lot older than this man wife and she is a widow if he is in favor of little children who they are very young reference no problem here we go this is the reference uh, I'm shy even to read the name of the book the book of Sakarim <laughs> where we can find the wife in the book of Sakarim what the heck we will marry a girl she is doing suckling the book of suckling sahih al-bukhari hadith number 715 f i don't know what the f for but you can take a guess <laughs> unbelievable man this guy is full of morality he is a dripping morality I mean, who can beat the prophet with his morality? Nobody. Muslims, do you think a man who have a little decency, he will tell a man why you are marrying a widow? What's your business? Is the guy doing something wrong when he marry a widow? What is the business of a prophet of God to tell the guy why you don't marry a child man so she can amuse you and you can sport what is sport with her what you would what is what what kind of a sport you would sport with the wife she is a child any muslim can explain to us if this man now and by the way this is an, this is an evil advice this is an evil advice actually if you read the whole story you will see this man he was in a rush to go to his house he missed his wife which means maybe he loved her Huh? He was rushing to go home. So Muhammad he said to him, Why you are rushing to go home? Huh? He said, Well, I am married and I miss my wife. Muhammad he said, Ah, ah. you see? Here, here, here we go. This is a story in front of you. Those guys, both of them, they are going to attack the neighbors and steal their women and their money. We were with Allah Messenger. In expedition when you is expedition it's mean to attack the neighbors when we returned I urged my camel to move quickly and it was slow there met me a ride from behind okay who is coming from behind and he guarded me with an iron tripped stick which he had with him my camel moved forward like the best that you ever seen and then and as I turned my face, I found him that he's trying to look who is the one who hit his uh, camel to make him make it run. I found Allah, it found him to be Allah Messenger. He said, Jabir, what has in you? Like, why you are in a rush to go? He said, Oh, Allah, Messenger of Allah, I am a newly wedded man. Whereupon he said, which means Muhammad, is it a version? that you have married or previously married the devil now is talking mm -hmm. you booked the, the devil 
Muhammad now he is curious to know are you married to a um, widow? Mm, yeah, disgusting. Ah. Why not? Why not? Look, 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 the wise prophet of Allah. Why not? A young girl. Young man, what's wrong with you? Are you stupid or what? You want to replace a young child with an old widowed woman? And when we say old, maybe she is like 24 or maybe 23. And when you say when we say young, we are talking about a baby like Aisha, six years old. This is the prophet of God. Imagine you are the wife of this man and you hear this conversation. How you feel? If there is any Muslim listening now, your husband is dying to come home to meet you. And the prophet of Allah he asked him, Who oh, you did marry, huh? Hmm? Tell me who you did marry. Why you are in a rush? Huh? I married. Uh, did you marry a virgin? Did you virgin there? I mean, between the is it virgin? What is the business of this man to know if this woman she have a <laughs> virgin skin or not? What is his business? What kind of a prophet? He is seducing a man to hate his the, the wife he have. He's happy with her. What's your what's your problem? The guy he just get married. I mean, imagine how evil this man is. The man he just get married. He's not like a married a year before. Just get married. He is a newly newly wedded man, and Muhammad is encouraging him to get rid of the wife he have because she's not fun. This is the prophet of God. Going back to our topic. You know, you will notice here the difference between the teaching of Jesus about the marriage and the teaching of Muhammad about marriage. Muhammad here is encouraging men to go and get married just for fun. You know what I mean? You see, the marriage here does not have a value of a marriage. This is just sex. It's just to play. He's talking about amusing her and sporting with her. He's not talking about a family. When the Messiah speak about marriage, that the man and the women, they will leave their parents and they will be one. They will be united. That is the value of marriage. Here, we don't have a marriage. This is, a, this is just entertaining business. All what the advice is about, is entertaining you as a man the women are to entertain us they are sex toys how you follow such a man especially if you are a female and if you are a male and have a dignity it's obvious that this man is a perverted man what do you say if somebody come to you and you are happily married with your wife and start telling you stories to divorce her, uh, why you marry her, man? We can find you with something better. Hmm? Huh? Why you marry this woman, widow? Huh? You know, she's, they are not fun. They are widows, you know. She she went through a horrible time and she will not be happy. Huh? Why you don't marry a virgin? She is young. Huh? And she have nicer body and, you know, she have full teeth. Hmm? She did not break any of her tooth yet. <laughs> oh, thank the Lord. Do we have any Muslim would like to give us a call? Anyone? So if we go back to our topic, we don't want to go away from our topic about Allah all-knowing. Is Allah all-knowing what Muhammad is doing there? Do we know really what his prophet is doing? Going between the, the crowd and telling men to divorce their wives and get a new one, she is young? Is Allah all-knowing? This is the man who Allah, he chose him to be the best of mankind. And remember, Muhammad now is after he have a plastic surgery. Anyone remember the plastic surgery done to Muhammad? Which proves no Christians really follow the Bible. My friend, my friend, no, the Bible says no one is good save God. 
no one is good save God so if you are asking us to be the perfect people there's nobody is perfect and you are not perfect too so don't be a hypocrite and we are Christians we don't claim to be perfect however we follow the Bible we follow the Bible as teaching practicing it that is something personal some they have a better practice from some some they are closer to God from some some they are so good to the point we call them saint why they are called saint because they devoted their life to God they never killed they never harmed they never do anything wrong but in Christianity you can be a sinful man even if you do nothing wrong which means if it's a thought in your head you did wrong in Islam you have to do an act so you can and actually even act is fine like the Quran says Allah forgive all sin except a shirk and when a man his name is in a Tamar he took a married woman to his store and he touched her and he kissed her all over and he did with her whatever the man do except intercourse Muhammad he said to him don't worry this is a lemon but Jesus said if you wish to have a woman she is not yours you committed adultery so in Christianity because we have a very high standard very high standard you see the Messiah he wanted us to be holy the same as our father in Islam the standard is not even exist it's very low so we cannot compare now who is the Muslim wanna call us I was going to talk about what uh, what what about what man ah, about the dish of wisdom right the dish of wisdom it happened to me the same as what happened to Muhammad he forgot the Quran have you ever heard of a prophet he received wisdom from God and faith in dishes and they did the plastic surgery for him to install it and supposedly Muhammad now when he speak to this man to get a child to sleep with is after the surgery not not before so this is Muhammad after being filled with wisdom a dish of wisdom read carefully <clears throat> mm. Anas ibn Malik reported that Jibreel came to the messenger while he was playing this is Muhammad he have two plastic surgery by the way once when he was a child and once when he was an adult look like maybe the first uh, surgery expired the wisdom expired uh, let us see we'll try to find the hadith ta -ta 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 -ta. Where is the hadith about? <laughs> yeah, this one is fine. There's a bigger one, but this one will do the, the job. It was narrated from Anas ibn Malik that the prayer were enjoyed in Mecca and that two angels came to the Messenger of Allah and took him to Zamzam, where they split upon his stomach. And took out of his inner rod in a basin of gold and washed it with Zamzam. Zamzam is a spring of water in Mecca. Then they filled his heart with wisdom and knowledge. Oof, 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 oof. I mean, Allah is all knowing. He knew that Muhammad is so foolish to the point he needed to make a plastic surgery. Who is a Muslim believe in this story? Who is a Muslim really believe in such a story? Anyone? Here the story is kind of in full. Let us read it together. Hmm. No, this is not the one. Hold on. 
Hmm. Why I cannot find it? Let me see. But the story is even more funny. The story. Hello? Hi, CP. It's Tippy there. Hey, Tippy. How are you? Um, I'm just, um, I just wanted to clarify something because we have a Muslim in the comments that thinks that good deeds are going to get you into paradise. Oh. Um, can you just clarify that for Okay, me? Well, well, is a good deed is to tell a man why you are married to a woman, go and marry a child? Is that a good deed? Not in my opinion. I'm a Christian. So what about he answer us? What do you think, my friend, the one who is talking in the text? Do you think it's a good deed for Muhammad to say to a man he is already married? Why you don't marry a child so you can play with her? Is that a good deed? In your opinion? Or you don't want to talk about it? He might be muted. I think Phil might have muted him. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, good deeds will take you to heaven. First of all, Muhammad, he said clearly that the good deed will not take you to heaven. Uh, let us finish this uh, thing about uh, Muhammad, his... Uh, the chest is washed by uh, water of Zamzam and okay. they install a wisdom, you know, and then we go back to the topic of the deeds and we will see if the deed will help. We will see. Thank, thank right. you, CP. Take care. God bless. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. All right. Good deed, right? Okay. Hmm. Is it a good deed? To attack the neighbors, kidnap their wife. Is it a good deed to marry a child and rape the child? Is it a good deed to beat your wife? Where is the good deeds in Islam? If you are if you are willing to call me, feel free and tell me what is the good deed. What is the good deed in Islam? Let us try to find the definition for what is the good deed in Islam. To do jihad. And what is the reward? Versions, extra versions. Hmm. Yeah. Let us see. I'm trying to find this hadith here so we can laugh a little bit. The wise Muhammad. His madness. All right. Uh, all right. We will be careful, you guys. The Prophet of Allah said, While I was at the house between sleeping and being awake, I heard someone saying, The one in the middle of the three, I was brought a vessel of gold. Containing Zamzam water, so my chest was split to here to here from here to here. Translation is not good. So Qutada said, I said to Anas, What does that mean? He said, To the lowest part of his stomach, guys, they split his throat from his throat all the way to his testicles. He said, so my heart was removed. Look like Muhammad's heart is so big, so they have to make a big cut. I mean, from the throat to the testicles to take the heart off? Oh, how big this heart? No wonder, man, this is the prophet. His heart is so big. He said, so my heart was removed and washed with Zamzam water, then returned to its place. Then it was filled with faith and wisdom. Oof, 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 oof. The first time ever 
a prophet he received a surgery from his God to install faith and wisdom since when Muslims faith can be installed by surgery any Muslim <clears throat> uh, by the way guys just to let you know uh, the, the reference okay here we go this is Sahih Hadith Jami al Turmudi Sahih very number five book 44 Hadith number three three four six you see it's Sahih uh, by the way guys I did not go to school no I did not let me tell you what happened in the Middle East we Arab we have a special connection with God because we speak Arabic so once upon the time I said to Allah please Allah I don't want to study Allah I go to school it's a waste of time and then Allah he sent two angels and one nurse the nurse was Two no, sorry, two, 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 uh, two, yeah, three angels. But one of them is a doctor. The other ones is like he is a surgeon, you know. And the others are like helpers, assistant. We can say they are nurse. One he stand in the middle, and the two stand one in the top of my head, and the other one in the top of my toes, holding me from my toes, according to the story in different hadith in Bukhari. And then he cut my chest from here to here. Yeah, here. No, no, no. Come on. It's no down down. No, not my belly bomb down 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 down. Come on. I'm shy to say anyway So they cut it all and they took all my heart off and they wash it Now if there is any Muslim here is listening is not believing my story you need to tell me why you don't believe in it Any Muslim don't believe in my story Any Muslim here is saying that this story is a lie, Christian Prince? Who want to say that to me? Hmm? Imagine if we have a Zakir Naik telling this story. Brother Sitter, once upon the time, the prophet was in a state of between sleep and awake. It's like a snake. I don't know if you ever see the alligator. Alligator, he like he is awake and he's asleep in the kingdom. Three angels, they came to the prophet. One of them, he cut his teeth from here to here. And they took his heart and they washed it with the water. They them them. Give them 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 water. And then they brought a death of wisdom and the death of faith. And they installed it in his teeth. And mashallah, alhamdulillah. That then, then the prophet is so wise and he is so believer. My Muslims, what's happening here? Dish of faith and dish of wisdom? Huh? Guys, you should see in Arabic, you should see in Arabic, the translation is not really correct. It says, Thumma hushiya imanan wa hikma. Hushiya in Arabic is not, not filled. You see, uh, anyone of, of you, you put uh, like used to try to, to make the uh, uh, zucchini and you put inside rice? I know like you know in the Middle East we have like certain kind of food which is very tasty so you push hard inside something like you know you stiff you know you stiff so this one is, is this is a stiff so they stiff his belly with faith and wisdom what do you think Muslims the Prophet was stiffed inside him by faith and wisdom No wonder the prophet is so wise and so knowledgeable. Amazing. I mean, who have more knowledge than the prophet? Who believe that the sun set every day because it moved from the east to the west and sleep under the throne of Allah? Do we have any Muslim have something to say? Remember, Muslims, we are not against you. We are here discussing Islam. Uh, this is nothing personal here. Hmm? I was brought a golden basin full of wisdom and faith. Have you ever heard of a golden basin full of wisdom and faith? God in Islam, he don't send a dish full of salad. He don't send a dish full of zucchini. He don't feel send a dish full of uh, cucumber. No. 
He sent a dish full of faith and wisdom. Even wisdom and faith in Islam, they come in dishes. Imagine you go to the uh, restaurant of Allah. They give you the menu. What you will see in the menu? You order the angel. Say to him, hmm, I want two dish of wisdom, one dish of faith, and one dish of love, and three dish of hatred. And please, please, don't forget, I want some dishes of National Geographic. Yeah, and I want one dish about mathematics, please. Dish of mathematics. Huh? And dish of physics. I mean, what the heck? Wisdom in dishes. Are you uh, Muslims? Are you listening? Or, I'm not making fun, by the way, but this is funny. The only prophet who needed a plastic surgery to fix him. I mean, what's wrong with Muhammad? Obviously, there's something need to be fixed. Correct, guys? And by the way, there's a verse about it in the Quran. I'm telling you, there's a verse about this in the Quran. If you go here, because you might not to believe me, I know. Muslims, doesn't matter what you say to the Muslims. As long as your name is a Christian prince, they say to you, you're a liar. You're a liar. Even if you say Muhammad was a good guy, they will say you're a liar. All right. Let us see. Hmm. Alam nashrah halaka sadrak. Chapter 94, verse number 1. Do you see it? What does that mean? Didn't we extend your chest? They extend his chest. What happened? What happened? How you did that? The plastic surgery. Haven't you expanded the breast? The breast? Muhammad have a breast surgery? You Muslims, you believe in this? That even Muhammad, he have a boob job? I think you were Muhammad, he used to work in fashion or something before. So he needed a surgery for those things, you know, maybe like a model. Or maybe he was an escort. A prophet of God, he needed a breast surgery. Allah he extended because yeah because they fill it you see the difference between the plastic surgery these days and the surgery of the Prophet now they are filling it up with the silicone in the time of the Prophet they fill it with wisdom and faith any Muslim have a comment any Muslim have a comment hello Even the chapter of that Quran is speaking, the name of the chapter is about expanding the breast of the Prophet. <coughs> hmm. Any Abdul? Hmm? Who is a Muslim have a comment to say? Let us go back. Allah is all-knowing. Allah, if He wants something to happen, He said to it, be, and it was. So why Allah did not say to Muhammad, it just be? Why Allah needed a surgery? Where is the God who say be? Anyone knows? If Muhammad he have a God and his God, if he wants something to happen, he say be. So what the point of sending two angels and they cut his chest from here to here? What do you say? Anyone? What's wrong with this prophet? The prophet, after being wise, look what, let me teach you how wise the prophet. I mean, this is after the surgery. 
you see there's a huge difference between Muhammad before the surgery and after the surgery after the surgery remember he became full of wisdom <laughs> oh boy look look what Muhammad said after the surgery hmm. look how wise this man is hmm. the messenger of Allah he said the following Blah 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 blah. You know, three things will disturb your prayer. Three things. Three things. What are they? He said, an ass and a woman and a black dog. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, the ass is a big problem, obviously, in Islam. You see what ass can do? You guys, you make fun of a donkey. Here we go. Here we go. An ass can distort your prayer. Allah, don't accept your prayer if a donkey walk by, or a woman, or a black dog. And they ask, "What's up with the black dog? Like why?" You know, guys. You see, the Muslims here they are thinking deep. This is deep thinking, selfish questioning. Muslims are people who ask questions. Seriously, look at this. So the guy he said, Oh Abu Dar, hey uncle, <laughs> uncle, 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 I have a question, I have a question. Abu Dar, what feature is there in the black dog which distinguish it from the red dog or yellow dog? He, which means Abu Dar said, Oh son of my brother. I asked the messenger of Allah the same as you asked me and he said the black dog is the devil <laughs> and this is after the dish of wisdom <laughs> so you can imagine Muhammad before the dish of wisdom what he used to say any Muslim have a comment this is the guy who you did the plastic surgery for him and you put the dish full of wisdom this is after the surgery so how Muhammad used to be before the surgery? Hmm? Hmm. Anyone? The racist Muhammad, he think the black dog is evil just because he's black? Actually, he ordered, ordered him to kill any black, pure black animal. Any black animal in the Middle East, if he, if he is a black, pure black, they kill him. They believe he's a devil because Muhammad says so. You believe it? Oh, the black stone is a different story. Guys, don't forget to get your copy of my new book. It's released just a few days ago. It's called Six and Allah. And for sure, I have a list of books. If you don't have it yet, it's going to be a great to be in your library. And right now, actually, I'm working in a new book. Um, it's going to be about Paul and the Apostle of Jesus in Islam. This is, will be a shocking book for the Muslims. So this is the book which is released. One of you, he said to me that the first volume in the back, you see in the spine, it doesn't have the name of the author. That because the first book is smaller than what is required to print in the in the back on the spine. So the second one, the value number two, because it's a lot bigger, or let's say there's about maybe 40 pages more. So it is printed there. This is the only, uh, but don't worry, it's the same anyway. As you see, it says here, uh, by Christian Prince. So my name is there, very number one, everything. And I hope you guys, you like the, is the print coming good? Yeah, the root of the Quran, it's taking me time. You know what I can do? To do, to, to finish the roots of the Quran, I need to take a vacation. I'm telling you, because need a lot of concentration. <clears throat> You can order it from Amazon.com, Amazon, the Amazon, event in your country. I don't know. Do we have any Muslim would like to call?
no the black stone you see the black stone my friend according to Islam black stone is not a black according to Islam the black stone is white the appearance of the black stone is a black because of the sin of the mankind if you go Read with me carefully. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll try to find a hadith about the black stone, about, uh, yeah. Okay. Here we go. The messenger of Allah said, the black stone descended from paradise and it was more white than milk. Then it was blackened by the sin of the children of Adam. Do you see it? Here, this is not just a words, just a statement. This is a very statement of racism what Muhammad is saying that when you are a good person you are white but because of the sin and the black stone is sucking the sin of mankind when they embrace the stone and kiss it as the Muslims do so then it was blackened by the sin of the children of Adam so what will make you black is your sin that's what Muhammad is saying for sure this is garbage what sin have to do with the color all of us we are sinners black white uh, uh, Asian it doesn't matter correct anyone believe in such a garbage he's obviously racist he think that color have to do with sin There's bad people everywhere. There's good people everywhere. I met black people who they are wonderful. Once I remember, I used to have a neighbor here next door. Once I went, I went to do like shopping for a grocery. And somehow my, my garage door stuck. I thought I closed it. You know, I hit the bomb to close it. And I saw it coming down. But looked like it stuck. My neighbor, who is a black man, he grabbed a chair from his house and he sat in the front of my house. I came back after two hours. I saw him sitting in front of my garage and the garage door is open. So what's up? I said, well, you left and you left the garage open. I was afraid somebody will get in. I said, why you don't hit the like the bomb? It's behind, just will close it. You know, he said, I was afraid that somebody will say that he's getting in. <laughs> and he's right. Look how nice he is. The poor guy, he sat in the front of my house to protect my house for two hours. And he is a black man. What this have to do with this? Few years ago, I was away for you know, like uh, some work to do. Uh, a bunch of idiots they broke inside my house, yeah, and they are not black. They took, I mean, stupid. They took papers. I I have a safe, have papers, I have uh, have my degrees, have my etc. They stole. Things is useless for them, but for me it's important. My army uh, uh, papers, my etc. You know, uh, uh, old passport. They took the safe. They thought I have like maybe this guy is rich, but those are not the black guy. The black guy protected my house, and I'm not saying the white people they do that. I'm a white man too, but speaking based on color is very stupid. If a white man is the one who stole things from my house, doesn't mean that the white people they are thieves. There's bad and there's good everywhere. But the idea here, Muhammad is teaching 
that the black stone is a good stone the stone have no sin this is not the sin of the stone remember Muhammad he said the stone is going to witness for the Muslims in the judgment day is going to have ears and eyes we showed you even the hadith it says that the stone have a right hand the Muslim they say it's weak who care if it's weak or not it's a, it is a hadith mentioned by you written by you uh, the stone blackened by the sin not like why why it turned black any Muslim can explain to us I mean what is uh, uh, the reason for the stone to turn black because of sin what does that mean if this is not a racist statement what it does mean that if I sin and I touch that stone that the stone get black any Muslim Hmm? Did the goat eat my degree? No, I have copies, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, but you know, there's uh, some papers is going to cost you a lot of money to get them back. Like, you know, as an example, uh, uh, if you if you want to request a paper, like the form, when you are released from the army, uh, there's a form, they give it to you. If you request it, it's going to take a long time before they send it to you back. Uh, or your citizenship as an example you know it costs I think six hundred dollars to get another copy of your citizenship because I'm not born in USA you know uh, so this is there's, there's th certain things is used as for those thieves it's just papers what they can do with them nothing but stupid they thought I have money inside the safe anyway do we have any Muslim here This is Muhammad after being given the message of God, Allah squeezing him three times, turning him to read, and installing a dish of wisdom, saying what he is saying. Oh, the, the stone who stole the, the clothes of Musa is a is a stone. This is stone is a good stone. She is this stone is not a thief. It's Allah who made the stone do that because you want to prove that the testicles of Musa's are very healthy. If we go and look for this hadith, here we go. And this is amazing miracle, by the way, it can be found in the hilarious religion of Islam. And this is Muhammad after he became wise, telling us this story. Let us see what he, what what it said. Allah Messenger said, "Who is said Allah Messenger?" Remember, I mean, this is not not Christian Prince. This is a true story. You see, Christian Prince he lie. Ask the Muslims; they will say he's a liar. This guy is a liar. Okay, the one is talking is Allah is, is Muhammad. Muhammad don't lie, just to make it simple and clear. Said, Moses was a shy person. Oof, 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 how shy Moses is. The guy, he did lead his nation from a place to place. He saved them from the Pharaoh. He was the leader. He was like their king. And then he was a shy person. Really? <laughs> True story. Then the shy Moses, he was a shy person. And he used to cover his body completely because his extensive shyness oof, 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 oof. one of the children of israel hurt him by saying ha -ha, ha -ha, ha -ha. he covered his body in this way because he have some defect in his skin either a leprosy or Scortal herina. I'm not sure if I'm saying the word correctly. Always I make a mistake when I pronounce it. Or he has some other defect. He's talking about his testicles now. Because what you know, you know what they're talking about? Musa's when he get when he wash, he don't get naked. He is not totally covered, you know. He is not showing his private part. 
so he has some other defect now Allah he heard the news you know Allah he heard the news and Allah is all knowing all hearing as you know remember this is the topic of our, our topic today <laughs> <laughs> you remember that right right Allah is all hearing all knowing so when this man he said that about Moses Allah he heard this and Allah will Allah he receive right away the messages you know right away and when Allah he hears something He don't hesitate to give orders. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, they are accusing Moses that he have. Okay, okay, okay. We will find a solution for this. So now Allah, he received the news that his prophet Moses accused in his testicles. So he decided to prove that the testicles of Moses are very healthy. And Allah, as you know, He is all knowing. You know, by the way, uh, Jews always do those things. I mean, look at this. You see, this guy, the one who accused Moses, is a Jew. Unbelievable. You Jews are really crazy. What you do that? Why you do that to the Prophet Moses? And the Muslims will be listening to the story and like oh, how ugly those Jews are. I'm mean, disgusting. They are insulting Prophet Musa. He's a Muslim. Musa is a Muslim for them. You remember? Huh? He's not a Jew. He's a Muslim. Hmm. So now Allah decide to prove to all the Jews, Netanyahu, Arik Sharon, uh, Nancy Belusi. I mean, everybody. He want to prove to them that Musa's testicles are very healthy and they are big. Very big. So Allah, He come with the plan. Allah, He start thinking, you know. And Allah, when He think, I mean seriously, He think deeply. He squeeze it, you know, like the same. Yeah, the same. He squeeze Muhammad, you know, like uh, what I should do, what I should do, and then bingo, He got an idea. When He got the idea, He decide to act immediately, but because Moses is not taking shower every day, He have to wait. So here it says, <clears throat> and one day, one day, Moses, he took off his clothes and he put it in the crock and he went inside the lake to wash. He is stepping away. See, he's far now. He's really far. When he jumped in the water and start washing himself, when he finished his bath, he moved toward his clothes. And look, the, the, look, look, look what happened here. The rock is a stain in its place. Did not run because the rock want Musa to see it running. Otherwise, if the if the rock run and Musa is in, in the lake, will not see where the rock is gone. This is not the point. So the rock is waiting for Musa. Uh, yeah, where are you, man? All right, all right. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, Christian by choice is uh, is fine. He's just busy with his four wives, his four mother in law. All right, so now Moses he is walking by, going forward to the stone, and the stone decides to flee. By the way, those things happen to us always in the Middle East, but not exactly by a stone. Like it happened, you 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 know, somebody steal your phone, somebody steal your wallet, 
somebody steal even your rug you let you leave it in the balcony you go after 50 minutes you don't find it I mean those things always happen but in the case of Moses it's a different story so he put his clothes in the stone but the stone took his clothes and the stone start running in the speed of the wind and man oh man Moses will never give up his wallet remember Moses is a Jew and Jew you know they will never let their money go so Moses was chasing the stone and was saying Habibi stone Habibi my wallet my wallet Habibi stop the stone <laughs> Habibi Muhammad <laughs> <laughs> so but the stone took the clothes of Moses and fled and Moses pick up his stick look he will not chase the stone without a stick look how smart he is I mean Moses now is naked he have nothing left except the stick <laughs> Moses he never go anywhere without the stick he took the stick and he ran after the stone saying Oh stone, give me back my garment. Stone, stone, give me back my garment. I mean, like unbelievable story. I wish there is a didn't have a selfie at that time. Imagine Moses is taking video live at that time, and we have it right now in YouTube. <laughs> unbelievable. And I post it on my account. I will not let anyone post it except me. I will have an exclusive right of broadcasting. You can imagine how many million Muslims will watch this story. I mean, the movie. So now, Moses is chasing the stone and speaking to it. Oh, stone, give me my garment. Till he reach the group of Bani Israel. Ew. Here, things is getting serious now. Who saw him naked. Oh, boy. This is the purpose of Allah. The whole idea is what to make Moses run after the stone and his testicles is a flying with the wind whiz 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 and Moses because he is chasing the stone to get his clothes he did not notice that he is in the middle of Israel now and everybody is looking at his amazing beautiful private part and then when he arrived there and they found him the best of what Allah has created. I like it when it says here the best. Look at this, guys. Amazing. Moses don't have a normal testicles like everybody. He have the best testicles. Do you see it? You notice here? You notice here? You people, you say the Muslims, they hate the Jews? Oh, cool, 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 cool. If the Muslims, they hate the Jews, how they say, how Muhammad, he says that Moses have the best testicles? So when he arrived there, everybody noticed like, wow, wow, look at this, brother. Like Jack Shalom, he looked at uh, Shalom Jack. He said, Habibi Jack Shalom, look at the testicles of our prophet Musa. Do you see his testicles? They are so big. The other guy, he said, that's amazing. And you accuse him that his testicles are bad. Are you stupid or what? Look how big and they are beautiful. They are like a watermelon and they are very healthy. If you nick them with your finger, you will have 10 kids. <laughs> Guys, what I find this story is astonishing. Anyone notice with me what is, is stupid about this story? It's not just only it's a fairy tale, but who notice here what is stupid about it? Anyone? Just for the sake of love. Forget about this, you know, like this. The, <laughs> there is something very funny. Who noticed? Hey, Christian by choice. How are you, man? Anyone notice? <laughs> nobody noticed the run, running stone. As, as if stones, they run at that time normally. You see, nobody is looking at the stone, that the stone is taking the clothes. Everybody is looking at the testicles of Moses. <laughs> Like nobody noticed that how in the world the stone is running only they are looking at the testicles I mean look how this is how amazing the testicles are <laughs> 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 
Oh boy. Looked like at that time, at that time, stones used to run every day. It's like, you know, you are walking in the highway or in New York, and then suddenly you see a naked man chasing a stone. And people, they are not looking at how the stone can run, they are looking at the naked man. <laughs> Oh, no, no, mercy. Oh, Muhammad, you are really funny. Very, very funny. Do we have any Muslim? Allah is all knowing. Allah is all knowing and all hearing. Hmm. Can you, Abdul? And you see, the Muslim, they say to me, You are a liar, a Christian prince. And this is a true story for them. I am a liar, and this is a true story. <laughs> Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 3404. Anything I say, they say to me, you are a liar. Any Muslim is willing to say to Muhammad, you are a liar? Muslims, is this a true story? Who is a Muslim when I conf conf like, uh, uh, confirm to us that this is a truly true story? Anyone? I don't know, somehow I'm convinced that this is a true story. This is a very true story. Anyone? Today we are short of uh, Muslims. I don't know why. Hmm? Yeah, that the, the water was moving the stone away. Where did he get this from? He have to show us the hadith in front of us. It says that the guy he ran entered he between in the middle of Bani Israel. What water? Bani Israel are ducks. <laughs> to the what? If the water is carrying the stone, I suppose you know the sheikh is making it better, guys. The guy he told him the sheikh he said the water he carried the stones. How the water can carry the stone? Same time, Moses is chasing the stone where? In the water? He's walking in the water. And Beni Israel, the, is the Jews, he stopped between them in the middle. They are in the top of the water too. Oh boy. Yeah, sure, I can give you the hadith link, no problem. But please be sure that you, uh, you believe in it because this is a true story. And show respect, please. The prophet, he always tells the truth. Actually, there's many witnesses for this, you know. Very a lot of witnesses, and not only that. When Moses he when the when the stone stop, Moses he 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 start beating the rock. Yes, and now there's four marks or five marks. And read with me, read with me. So uh, Moses he took uh, uh, he put his garment on. He wore his garment and started hitting the stone with the stick by Allah. And by Allah, Muhammad is swearing by Allah that Musa is hitting the stone as a punishment. Unbelievable. The stone, Muhammad is swearing by Allah saying, the stone still has some traces of the hitting at it. <laughs> by Allah, I swear by Allah. <laughs> True story. True story. Musa, he hit the stone with his staff. And until now, the stone Muhammad is swear by Allah, by Allah, by Allah, my friend, my brothers, sisters, by Allah, the stone has some traces of the hitting three or four or five. Muhammad, what about you? Go continue or, or six or seven or eight or nine or ten. I mean, what do you, what do you mean that? Like, your knowledge is stop here, you are not sure if they are three or four or five. <laughs> See, guys. See guys how Muhammad is so humble. The whole story he assured from all the details, but at the end he hit the stone, but there is like marks mm, three or four or five. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> Amazing. And you are telling me that the prophet is not a true prophet of Allah? The Muslims, they have tons of videos 
speaking about the scientific miracles of the Quran by the way if you have my books the deception of Allah and Quran in science in depth uh, and they are trans translated to English to, to uh, sorry to German too uh, you will see how we get them busted with all the lies they have about those things but how in the world Muslims who believe in such a man saying such stupid stories to bring science they fabricate the translation and the meaning of verses in the Quran to convince the one who don't speak Arabic that this is a book speak of science and actually if there is any Muslim right now is watching even though we are like already for uh, three hours and a half speaking or three hours I think right yeah uh, if there is any Muslim is willing to call us and show me one scientific miracle of the Quran as the Muslims they claim I will be grateful you choose whatever you want you choose the scientific miracle you claim and leave the rest for me who want to do that just to show you how we can expose any of their lies about that anyone <clears throat> Muhammad he can write or he cannot my friend will not make any difference because if you remember you see the story here me myself I don't believe Muhammad do not know how to write how to read however as long the Muslims believe that Muhammad do not know how to write how to read then we have to go by their belief you know what I mean at the end of the day it is the religion of the believers and if they believe Muhammad never know how to write how to read then that is a problem for the Muslims not to us I don't care this is what the Muslims believe when the Muslim they say to us that Muhammad do not know how to write how to read and then his God he says to him read obviously this God is not all-knowing and when this God he keeps saying to Muhammad three time read and still Muhammad cannot read so he is not all-knowing and he is not almighty for an almighty God even if Muhammad do not know how to read if he say to him read he will read this is God if God he said to Christian Prince speak German but Christian Prince don't speak German well it's God if he says so I will speak German right if God is talking Whatever he says is going to happen. The Muslim they say if Allah is the God and whatever he wants to create, he say be is going to be. Okay, here we go. Allah he said to Muhammad, three time read. And Muhammad is still he cannot read. After all the three squeezing and the three time ordering him to read. So what the problem? There is something wrong. Either wrong with Muhammad, because no God can make him read because he's so slow. <laughs> Or wrong with Allah <laughs> Allah at that time he was uh, suffering from uh, some kind of illness he's weak he could not make Muhammad read do we have any Muslim would like to call us again guys those who got my new release book if you when you finish reading the books the two books please don't forget to make uh, a truthful review don't make a review I say it's amazing blah 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 you know it is amazing if it is amazing if there is something negative please say what is negative don't do what the Muslims do all right so after you finish reading uh, you can go to amazon.com and make your own review honest one do we have any Muslim And don't forget to get my other books too. And now I'm working with the with the book. It's about uh, Paul because you know the Muslim they keep attacking Paul. So I said to myself, why I don't make a book to get them busted, to show them who is Paul and the apostles of Jesus in Islam. So the new book is going to be shocking for the Muslims. If a Muslim ever try to insult Paul in front of you, you will shower him 
with reference from his books and he will be mute he will look so stupid even if he is claiming to be a scholar so this is what the new book topic will be about any Abdul anyone No Muslim? Why is the stone this the creating inside the Kaaba? Only a few bubbles left inside the Kaaba. Well, because Allah, you see, guys, this is an additional uh, reason to, uh, to to know Islam is false. If the if the black stone is a holy stone sent by Allah, why the stone? Is not preserved by Allah. You can go right now. I posted a video in minds.com. Go to my account in minds. All right. You will find I may I posted a video there about the black stone. How the Muslims they make a maintenance, they do maintenance for the black stone every few months. Because there's no stones inside, there's eight pieces, small pieces, tiny pieces of a stone, and what is between them is wax. You know what I mean? There's nothing there. Thank you for those who make a donation. Let me see if I can find minds.com. Let me see if I can find the video for you there. And I think some of you already download the video. Uh, go to my account, guys. Just to scroll down and look for... Uh, this is my account in Minds. Look for the maintenance for the black stone. I think that the video name is called Secret of the Black Stone, something like this. All right, you will find it. Then you will see how the Muslims, they do maintenance every week almost. And there is a big maintenance every few months. Every week they have to add some wax to the shape which is resembling the stone, which is like the vagina. But... If you look inside, there's nothing. All is wax. Few pieces. So if this is stone is a stone will, will stay until the judgment day. Why Allah needed the human being to do maintenance for something obviously is gone. What is going to be left over of this stone in 200, 300 years from now? People touch it every day. Or those little pieces of stones. Nothing. I think it's called the uh, secrets about the black stone. Uh, it's it's made a while ago, you know. Uh, click click in my account. Click at videos. All right. Uh, uh, it shows a lot of videos here. Nothing to do with my. Uh, we need to find it. Okay, let us see black stone. Let me see if I can find. There's a guy, his name is Blackstone there. <laughs> well, I don't know. Um, let us see if any of you did. This is why I always ask people to download my videos and spread them around. Secret. Let's see if any of you have it. Yeah, I think here we go. One of you did download the, the, the video. I hope all of you will download it again and share it around. This is the video. Very important video. It shows you in details how the black stone look, how they do the maintenance. Uh, all in video. It's not just, uh, you know, I'm saying, you know, you will see it right away in front of you. Do you see it? Download the video immediately and share it in your blog, your Facebook. And by the way, you know, like, you know maybe some people do not know. Uh, you see this video, just to give you an example. This person who posted my video, he have almost 10,000 views for this video. So even if you want to make money, I'm not against you. 
you can add advertising over this thing why not you see my videos they bring a lot of review if you have a channel I don't complain I will not flag I am asking you guys to download because my my point is not have to have uh, subscribers in my channel my point is to spread the truth I will be happy if you have ten times more subscribers more than me who care as long people they are watching and learning you know what I mean so this guy he copied my video 10,000 people they saw the video already and maybe you can do even better do we have any Muslim anyone all right uh, for today I think we are done I hope today we cover the issue that obviously Allah he is not all-knowing and not to mention the errors and the stupid errors in the Quran and how Allah can be all-knowing who do not know where the Sun set where the Sun rise he think the Sun set in the murky water the Sun rise, rise in a place uh, he think women have a sperm coming from their ribs and the man have a sperm coming from the backbone he think the human being is created from a, a dead blood I mean the whole Quran is a is a joke how Allah can be all knowing as the Muslims they claim even the location of the Kaaba if you go and watch a video I made a video it's called uh, seeking Allah finding death you can find it in Christian Prince account in Arabian Prophet uh, the location of the Kaaba is a clear proof that Islam is false again why because the Muslim they say to us that Allah he sent the black stone and he placed it in the location of the Kaaba which means Allah is the one who chose where the Kaaba to be built but the Kaaba have the worst location in Mecca where it is flooded every year by the sewage anytime you have little rain the Kaaba is flooded badly like now after they have the money of uh, and the engineers from America and they bring all engineers from the world to solve this issue still the Kaaba is a flooded so imagine you have you hire the best engineer in the world to choose the best location for your house and then he choose a hole in the ground where all the dirty sewage water will come to it with little rain isn't it this is a proof again that Allah is a false God if we ask Allah to be the engineer who choose the location and the Muslim they believe it's Allah who chose the location of the Kaaba how in the world Allah he chose the worst location can't he find the location where it is a flood free <laughs> flood free my friend flood free not even from the clean water it's a flood free it's a dirty water because you know in Saudi Arabia there's no sewage so what happened when there is little rain the rain will became a flood and all the sewage water which is exist in holes in the ground you see they, they every house I don't know what they call it in English I think they call it like septic tank septic tank you know so it's a hole in the ground ha, full of all the dirty water there's no sewage The rain will come and that water will be mixed with the sewage and then the sewage which is in the hole will come out and all of it will go to the Kaaba what kind of God this God is right what kind of God this God is he cannot even choose a location for his Kaaba Go and you know uh, hire some uh, uh, person who uh, who took two years a class or six month a class in uh, 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 in a construction. He will tell you the simple logic that this is not a good location. Christian by choice if your God know everything why did he created Muslims and the Quran who said that a God is created the Quran
What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh boy. Hello? What's wrong with you? Hello? Yes. How are you, CB? I'm fine. Who's talking? So so would how are you so what do you want to say to us this, this is this is my this is my third account you blocked me on my two accounts because you're a kid oh i'm a kid so yeah i'm asking that's okay here we go okay let us, let us ask you here then do you do you have an answer for what we are saying or no now you talked about the story of moses that uh, hmm. that uh, flying rock no can, the, you, the, can you the, the, the story can here you the, the story the story here is your God Allah, He said to Muhammad, read it three times, and He squeezed him three times. Do you know why? Okay, can, can, would you let me explain to you, or would you interrupt me in, in between? All right, I'm listening. Go ahead. Okay, so the word Ikra means Ikra has two meanings. Okay, to read from the book, hmm. or to re, uh, to recite something from the memory. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Which one is the correct one? Uh, recite or to read? Okay. So when the Jibril said uh, read, mm. he meant to read from the memory, okay? But Prophet thought that he's saying that to read from the book. Okay. So that's why he said that I cannot read. Mm. So are you done? Yeah. Okay, guys, look what Saud he said. Uh, the Prophet, he thought, he was asking him to recite from the memory. Is that what you said, Saud? Yes. Okay. How he will recite from the memory if this is the first time Muhammad he received Quran? What he have in his memory? So that's why he asked in the if you read the if you read a, an, an, another narration, mm -hmm. the Muhammad asked that what should I read? Okay. And then Jibril then Jibril began to uh, recite the verse, uh, okay. read in the name of Allah. All right. And then he repeated. So so, so who, you have to see so who is wrong gen, here? Uh, two narrations. Okay, who is wrong you here? Have to see who, that, who is wrong? Hold on, hold on. Who is wrong? Muhammad he got it wrong or the angel got it wrong? No, I'm saying that you have to do, uh, you have to see the two narrations. My friend, I understand. Why, why you don't give me an answer? You see, you, you say to me, you you uh, you are trying to answer, but you are not answering. I'm asking you very nicely. Why Muhammad get it wrong and why the angel get it wrong? Because obviously there's a misunderstanding. The guy he keeps squeezing Muhammad three times, and obviously Muhammad he keeps saying the same thing. So the angel is not getting Muhammad's statement what he mean, and Muhammad is not understanding the angel. What do you think about that? Why the angel keeps squeezing yeah, him Muhammad three times? Hmm. Muhammad was unlettered prophet. He so, was thinking okay. that the angel so is, he is he to is read from the book. Okay, he is illiterate. He cannot read, right? So the angel is saying to him, read. Yeah. Why the angel did not explain to him what he meant? Angel then explained to him, if you read the whole narration, what, what, what he said. Read, read, part, read, read what he said to him. You are just, what you are just picking the one part of the narration. No you problem. Not, tell me, tell me the narration. You're not, tell, no, tell me, you're tell not me. Telling, I'm, li <coughs> I'm listening, my friend, the whole story in front of us. Tell me, what is the narration say? Go ahead. You are not there. There are two narrations basically. Okay, you're hmm. just showing the one narration that you're which not one you like the to, which one you like which, me to show? Which, which line, which one you like me to show? Tell me. I don't know. Uh, I don't have the number exact number. Ah, of the okay, second narration. okay. What about you give it to me? Okay, later, later. You can call me and for now, give me this narration. This, this is a Sahih hadith, so you have nothing to complain about, right? Is it Sahih or yeah, weak? But the, but the one you quoted of the story of Moses, it was not Sahih. The story of Moses is not Sahih. Who said that? Can you show me there? Who said it's, that? Uh, okay. Okay. Hold. I am saying it. Uh, you are saying you are you are the expert. All right. Okay. Yeah. Show me. Show me. Show me. I challenge you. Show uh -huh. me if it's uh, this Sahih. Uh, okay. Show are. me. Sahih Bukhari. It's Sahih. No. Show me from this. It's not. My friend, this is Sahih Bukhari. My friend, every hadith or narration is not. Okay, let me let me get you busted. You know this. Let me get you busted. Show me where it says this is a weak hadith. Show me where it says it is Sahih. It says Sahih. It's it, the name of the book is Sahih al Bukhari. That's, okay, would, Abdul, would you let Abdul, me speak? Abdul, Abdul. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. You are trying to escape. Uh, when you find no, me, when escape. you find me, someone not saying, every, hold on. When you not, say to me, when you find me, someone saying that this is a weak hadith, let me know. Can you find me somebody saying this? Hadith. Can you find me somebody saying this is weak hadith? Yes or no? Not. Not every hadith is Abdul. This is not the question. This is not the question. Can you find me someone saying this is a weak hadith? Yes or no? Can you? Yes, uh, Numan al Khan said that. Who? Who is that? Numan, Numan, Numan Khan. Khan is again Numan Khan, you kid. You're getting me a guy from yeah, YouTube. He's a scholar. We are talking about scholars. This guy is a scholar, he's an idiot. He's a guy who gets naked and show his pictures to girls in the internet. What a scholar. 
Give me somebody. He is a scholar. Do we have a book? Okay, so you don't want you don't want to. Okay, any Abdul, evidence I provide you is I good. Want, when you say you see, this, is why I say you are a kid. When I say give me a scholar, you give me a scholar. What no man Khan? Who's no man Khan? He is a scholar. He is, he is a scholar. Ah, what? Who made him a scholar? He is a scholar. Who is the Nobody one who named him a scholar? You see all who, those. He hadith? is a scholar. Abdul, Abdul, listen. All those references in front of us, not even one of them says that this is a weak hadith. Sahih al-Bukhari. Do you see it? Not even you know, a single you, one. Yeah, it is. It is. I'm not saying you, that it's you not. You ask. You 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 say to me why I don't every, why okay, I, you speak first, why you speak I hang up on you. You are a kid. I asked you for a scholar. You give me no man Khan. Do okay. No, speak, okay. Let, hold on. Hold on. Do no man Khan have a book so we can read it? Let me know when you're completed. Where we can find no man Khan book to explain this? Do you have a book? It's called no man Khan. Are you done? I'm asking you. Do you have a book for Naaman Khan? As long he's a I'm scholar, you, as long he's a scholar. Okay, hold on. Look at this people guy. People have misconception. Guys, guys, did he say? Show me where it says Sahih. Here we go. Do you see it? It says Sahih. What we will do now? It's not Sahih. It says you're, Sahih. You're, you're, it's in the front of you. It says Sahih. Oh, you you are manipulating it. You are, you are showing the others. You are showing the references different. This is the same one. It. <laughs> this is the same okay, one. Just see the number. Potato. See the number. See the this is the fact. So, so who cares? You idiot, stupid. Oh, guys, look at this. Show me the number. This is different number. It says Sahih, but the same story. Do you see who is the donkey? This is why, this is why I say I don't want to talk to you. You're okay. a kid. The it's the same story. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So that, here. so hold on, hold on, hold on. Let us laugh at you. Let us laugh at you. That hadith is weak. This hadith is Sahih, but this hadith is the same story. So what do you say about it? It's the same story. The it's the same story. The shut up. Shut up. It's shut up. Answer now. You are saying that this is a stupid story. It's not a true. Now, it is Sahih. So what do you say about Musa chasing are, a stone? Yes or no? You are, you are manipulating Just shut up, it. idiot. Don't call me again. Let your mom call me, not your dad. Because obviously, men in your country, they are not men enough to be brave to say the truth. What a potato. This is a weak hadith. Weak hadith. What make it weak? And now this is the same story in different books. For sure we'll have a different number. Who care about the number? What we care for is the story. It's exactly the same story. Do you see how much they are in love with deception? No man Khan said, no man Khan said, go and take her. And I challenge show me what no man Khan said. It's a, it's a, it's not true. Who's no man Khan? This guy is not even 30 years old. This guy became your scholar. We are talking about Sahir, Bukhari, Sahih, Muslim, and no, no man Khan said. <laughs> Guys, this is a story in the front of you. And this is the Muslims saying there in the bomb. By the way, this word there, Sahih, I don't go by it. Who care if they say Sahih here or not? This book is one of the Sahih, regardless if they say Sahih or not. Jami al Turmudi is one of six Sahih books. So if they say here Sahih or not, it doesn't make any difference. It is Sahih. But I'm just, I look for this one just to get him busted because he wants to see somewhere it says Sahih. Okay, now here we go. It says Sahih. But who cares for this? Saying here, this is additional. This not even exist in the hadith. This is the Muslims adding things, grade. This is the book Sahih. The book itself is Sahih. You can go right now and search in Google. Uh, search for the authentic books of Sahih in Islam. Authentic books of hadith in Islam, in Islam. You will see there are six. Actually, I can do it right now. Here we go. In the front of your eyes. Let me go to Google. All right. Guys, I just searched. As a search, search in Google, you can do the same. Type authentic list of hadith. All right, just do it. Do you see it? There are six books. All of them, they are sahih. 
right in the top of Google. Those are the authentic. Doesn't mean there's no other authentic. Those are the ones who they don't even discuss about them. List of authentic hadith, Islamic Islamic city form, or you can go to different hadith, hadith library, uh, etc. Uh, list of fabricated hadith. Hmm. Uh, okay. Sahih, the six authentic books of hadith. Read with me. Advertising as usual. Sahih al Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Sahih al Nisa'i, read Abu Dawood, At Turmudi, Ibn Majah. That's it. There are six books. But because they are ashamed of the stupidity written in the books, so suddenly what they like is Sahih and what they like is weak. Like the hadith about the black stone, it is the right hand of Allah. When they want, it is a strong hadith. When they notice that this is a stupid and everybody is laughing at it, you see those hadith, who the Muslims today, they call them weak. They never questioned them for the last 1400 years because nobody dared to laugh and the stupidity of the fairy tales of Musa's, of Islam. Because remember, Muhammad is saying that Musa is the one who said that. Nobody dared to laugh at the stupidity of Muhammad of Islam. Those are prophets of Allah. Nobody dare. But the second you show them how stupid it is, then because they are ashamed of the stupidity, suddenly this is a weak hadith. Anything is not suitable. Anything will make Allah look like a joke. It is weak. However, by the way, even weak hadith is accepted, just to let you know. There's, there's a video made by Sheikh Hamza. You can go and watch it. Search for Sheikh Hamza weak hadith. He make a speech to to get the Abdul busted. His own people telling them there is an there's a, lately there's an attack of weak hadith. He said, and I will quote what he said. He said, weak hadith does not does not mean it's funk. It pass. Go watch it. When you say it's a weak hadith, even the weak hadith is accepted. But today, it's like a, a fashion. Anything you say to the Muslim, it is embarrassing, stupid crazy foolish right away he said to you it is weak right and maybe tomorrow we will get better muslims to debate us with this guys i want to say thank you for being here today i will try tomorrow to be here around 4 30 as usual if not then the day after for sure so i want to say thank you for being here may the lord bless you and i hope that the Muslims will learn and listen and don't forget to download my videos because I'm not going to keep them in my channel for long and the reason for that because I want people to download so if you are interested to keep my videos and to share them in your channel I will give them for you know I'll give them a day or two so you can download them after that they will be taken off thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you and until I see you again maybe tomorrow around 4 30 as usual Christ is Lord and Islam is false. And we see you soon again. Bye bye. Thank you.